Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to restore a database in a SQL Server running into Docker. So what's the difference between Docker container and VMs? On the left hand, you can see I have a three containers running on top of a Docker. And then Docker engine is running on top of a host OS, for example, here is Windows 10. So they all three containers are shared one Docker engine resources. On the right hand side, I have a three VM on top of Windows 10. So each VM has their own guest OS. From this diagram, I can say is Docker is lighter compared to the VM. So today I'm going to show you how to download a SQL Server container and then we restore a SQL database. It's called Adventure Works Lite version of 2019. And then we're going to by default install the uh, setup a SA account so we can access uh, from host to the SQL Server 2019 instance. Before we do that, we need to first download the Docker desktop for Windows. Here's the link. In order to uh, run Windows uh, Docker desktop on Windows 10, so Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise 64-bit is required. If you don't have one, you could try this one, Windows 10 Pro Pro View, it's free version. So once we download the Docker desktop and then we can download the SQL Server Management Studio, it's a connection tool. And then we need a demo database. Let's download here. So you just click here, uh, get stable version. And then we download the um, SQL Server Management Studio. You can download from here. It's latest one should be the 18. And then we need a demo database. Of course, you can create one as well, but today I'm going to show you how to restore it. So we need to download this guy. You can download this guy as well. It's quite a little bit bigger. That one's lighter. So I already downloaded here. One, two, three. And then just double click install the like other applications. Accept. Mm, yeah, since I already installed it, they will check updates. If no update, that means just say nothing, won't do anything. Same to the SSMS. So I already installed it. Here, SSMS. Let's, let me run it in the background. So once you install Docker, you should be able to see a little whale here. Stop click. And then you go setting. Yeah, setting here. So you go to the resources. So by default, they're gonna assign two CPUs and two gigabyte of memories and disk size is 64 gig. Yeah, that's on um, uh, installed location. And then we are uh, cancel. Uh, you will see those containers. I'm gonna show you how to download a SQL Server container and go next page. And that's the Docker command. So you go Windows CMD 
here. Just copy paste. So Docker run. You have to set, uh, put in Y here uh, for the UIC uh, addition. That's the password for it. SA. And there's a port number mapping. That's a host uh, port number. That's the uh, port number inside uh, Docker. That's the tag. So we're going to download the 2019 latest one since I already download. So I won't do it again. It's about uh, 1.5. Gigabyte, it's gonna take a while. Cool. So back to the Docker. You can see, I can hear, see the Docker. Let's go, uh, come on to, so here. Docker image. I have three images, three containers. And then I just Docker, anything is running. Now, put an A, everything. So we're gonna start it. Docker, start. Just put your ID, Microsoft, put an ID here. Run it. And then, look, it's, see the status? It's four seconds. So we're gonna wait another few seconds and we can click connect to it using SQL Server Management Studio. Let's back to the PPT. And those are, and those are command we're going to using it. So I'm gonna copy. That one we already, uh, we can inspire, see those some, uh, some settings. Okay. Is is back same uh, container ID. It's a long. Usually, you just check the IP address and name. How uh, you can find that password as as well. There's a host name. Okay, should be good now. So we just uh, connect always local host. SEO account. The password you need it. Password you need it. Yes, wait. Look, oh, sorry, put the wrong name. Local host. Remember, go here. Yay! We're able to connect to it. Oh, I already installed one. Let's delete. IDB, let's do it as well. So we are able to connect to the SQL Server running inside container. Now we need to restore our SQL database, which we download in our local environment here. So in the host. So we are going to copy it to the container and then restore from there. So we need a copy. Uh, let's clean the screen. Docker. Let's uh, create a folder in the container first. Let's give a user root root account in directive mode, and then we're going to need an ID container name. Sorry, container name. Oh, let's go here. Docker. Yes, so there's a container name, we're going to need it. Okay, where is one? And the bash. In the screen. And I create a folder. Uh, oh. PKP, let's copy over asset, let's copy Docker CP. So that's the location in our host. 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 And the file name. And 
And then what's the target? Target will be container ID. Container ID. And then will be location. Home. PKP. Let's PKP. Yeah, it's five. You copy it. And then what you're going to do is and I copy the script. And then we should be able to restore it. Go here. Open another SQL query. master go and restore database database name from the location home backup file and those are location by default when you install the sql server let's give a check and run it message yep cool it's fresh table Let's give a query. Cool. And then usually we're going to change the uh, database uh, owner to be uh, to be essay. Give an essay. Cool. That's all for today. Uh, thank you for your watching. If you enjoy it, just hit the like button. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. Thanks.